everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessie. If you're new here, I unbox subscription boxes and more. And I am back to subscription boxes, folks. Today I have an inaugural box called Travai. It is out of Canada and it is a bi monthly destination subscription box. I'm super excited to show you guys. This is the most Christmassy of all Christmas videos I'm going to be doing for you. Its theme for this time, this very first time, is German. Christmas market. Yes, I'm so excited. So let's see what's inside. Just from the first glance at this box, I can tell that it's going to be amazing. I've been looking forward to it for a really long time. Because it is from Canada, it took a little bit longer to get here, especially this time of year. But I cannot wait to see what's inside. So... We do get a collectible postcard every month, and this one features Germany. It's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. It's got the Trovai logo on the name on the front, and it literally is like a postcard. That is so cool, the stamp and everything. So I'll read it real quick. It says, Hi, friend. I'm delighted to be exploring Germany with you in our inaugural box. 2020 has been a pretty rough year, so I hope this helps relieve some of that wander loss. XO. Wanderlust, sorry, XO Tina. And all of the information is in English as well as French because it is from Canada. So on the very top, I've got this awesome little piece trinket here. It looks like a piece of jewelry, handmade charms. Oh, that looks really exciting. You guys know I love jewelry and bracelets, and let's get into that. I really like the simplicity of this bracelet. It just looks like a compass. And it's really, it's kind of like a faux leather blue. I love blue and nice and adjustable with an easy lobster clasp. The designer is Natalia Haydish. And she's got an Etsy shop right there if you'd like to pause and take a look. I might also feature in the, her in the description box below. I'm going to try on that bracelet. Alright, I've got it on the tightest setting. It fits pretty well. It's a little bit loose, but not bad at all. I, I really like it. It's unique. It's different. Um, my dad has German roots. His grandmother was born in Germany, so I was hoping that this box would actually have some nice gifting things, maybe potentially for my dad, but it also might be in a box where I keep everything for myself. So let's get inside, shall we? Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. Germany. It looks like a really nice product guide. Wow, look at that beautiful scene of a Christmas market. I can't imagine how much fun it would be to go to a German Christmas market. I don't know about you guys, but that would be awesome. And it says edition number one, November 2020, but I literally did receive this in December. So I believe this functions as a product guide and a little bit about the theme. All right, look at all the wonderful, yummy goodies. I cannot wait to get in here. So first, let's see, let's pull this out. Wow. Oh, the chocolate. I know you guys, if you follow my channel, you know that I am gluten and dairy free. I've been so disciplined since April, but I might have to take a bite of these. Look at how inviting that smooth chocolate looks on these. Domino Stein. Obviously, this is in German. So, ooh, look at the center. You can kind of see what it looks like. Let's read about these in the description guide. All right. Sweet spice and fruity treats. Okay, I wasn't expecting spice or fruity, honestly, looking at that. If you happen to be in Germany, you'll know the Christmas season has begun when you spot Dom Domino Steen in supermarkets. This delectable little treat layers soft gingerbread, marzipan or persipan, made with peach or apricot kernels and fruit jelly, all enrobed. I love that description, enrobed in dark chocolate. Oh my gosh. Dominoes, as they are commonly known, become became popular during World War II as an alternative to the more expensive chocolate pralines. Huh. I love how they pro provided that little bit of history in there. It's quite possible that it might be dairy-free without that dark being dark chocolate, but I I'm going to take a tiny bite. A tiny bite doesn't hurt anybody, right? All right, if you don't like mukbangs, do look away for two seconds. But here's what it looks like when you bite into it. 
it's really was not what I was expecting at all. And it's I could definitely tell it's a chocolate with dairy, so I don't worry. These will definitely be eaten, not just not by me, unfortunately. But they're so good. They have you hit the fruit flavor hits you first, and then the spice, and then you can also feel the waver the wafer really just like they said. It, oh my gosh, these I oh I really want to finish this. But these are amazing. This is going to be so fun to taste German delicacies. All right, this next item is in this little pouch. It's honey cake spice. And you get a better idea of the back of it. This is really interesting. We're definitely going to read about this. All right, so it's a German honey cake baking spices. When you're visiting Germany during the Christmas season, it's okay to eat cake for breakfast. Oh, yum. <laughs> yes, really. With a warming blend of cardamom, allspice, coriander, star anise, cinnamon, and orange peel, this unique spice mix is a start ingredient in German honey cake, as well as the Jewish lechka. And I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong. Um, recipe is on their website. Oh, that's super neat. So that's the Jer Jewish word there. If I put you pronounce that wrong, I'm very sorry. Uh, wow. Oh, and here's a picture. Okay, there's a picture down there of, by my thumb of what it looks like. The recipe is on their website. That is super cool. Honestly, when I pulled out this next item, I thought it was like a huge tube of toothpaste. <laughs> but I obviously, I realized that that's not it. Um, by the way, I'm loving this box. That the labels are in German and then the descriptions in English and in French. It's making me feel very worldly and very cultured. This is actually a mustard, and this is a lot of mustard. Can I just say this is a um, really big tube? I'd love to be able to let's see. Are there any sizes in here that's equatable? Let me see. It says 100 milliliters. So I think that might be accurate. It's been a long time since I've dealt with mill milliliters. Back to college days um, but it does say that it's a medium hot mustard so I'm going to read about that in the description box because unfortunately the label doesn't tell me too much more Germans take their mustard seriously so it's no surprise that there are so many varieties middle scarfer or medium spice is the most popular version and pairs fantastically with German sausages caricature and cheeses Wash down the burn with a crisp lager or fruity white wine. And please don't laugh if I pronounce any of those names wrong. I am sorry. Uh, there's the char. Oh, I feel like I've heard that word before. Um, but yeah, that's. I'm. I'm not really into spicy at all. Um, but I again, this can make a great gift. Or I know some people who are into spicy condiments so this is really cool um, I really like this getting something like this in a subscription box it's useful it's different and it's a cultural experience as well I think I'm gonna save the one of the most famous items for last but look what we have look what we have next this cute little mushroom shape it's a wooden carving do you guys have any guesses as to what it might be if so, please pause this box, pause this box, wow, pause this video and put it in the comment section below. But let me show you guys. This will be much easier to do with two hands, unfortunately. All right, as you can see, the little mushroom cap screwed up and will screw back down. So I'm guessing, what do you do? You put something in there? Right, if anybody got it, it's a nutcracker which just floods me with memories from my childhood, being with my grandmother, uh, cracking nuts with an actual nutcracker as a kid. I loved that, loved that. So it's a wood nutcracker, as I said. Germany is well known for its soldier style nutcrackers. That is, that's very true. Uh, I had a lot of those decorations growing up as a kid. But hand carved nutcrackers in other whimsical shapes became popular in the 15th century and forward. This sweet little mushroom nutcracker is easy enough for kids to handle too. That's good. I really want the next generation to have memories of nutcrackers and actually cracking nuts. That's fantastic. Simply insert the nut into the base and then screw the top until the shell cracks. So cool. I think that's just, a, I've never gotten a nutcracker in a subscription box. I can say that and I probably never will and I love it and it's super cute. 
you could use it as a decorative decoration too or just have it in your kitchen when you're not using it it's it's uh, so cool I love this it's, it's nice you can tell it's good quality too it's carved really nicely there are still more items you guys and I'll tell you more about the subscription box and the pricing and everything at the end if you're interested because I can't wait for the next month's theme. Um, my only problem so far is that the foods don't tend to be gluten or dairy free for me. Um, so I'm going to really think about this box because I really do love it. But anyway, going back, let's continue on. I honestly can't tell you anything about this product without the description guide. So I'm going to pull that out again. Oh, this is interesting. It's a mulled wine spice sachet. Picture this, you're strolling through a German Christmas market on a snowy evening. Ah, everybody, can we just stop for a minute and picture that? Strolling through that German market on a Christmas snowy, or not even Christmas, that Christmas market on a snowy evening. Oh, okay, just stop, breathe, and think about that because that, to me, sounds like bliss. A vendor presses a steaming mug into your hands. Warm red wine spiced with cloves, star anise, cinnamon, and orange. Bliss. <laughs> I swear I didn't read ahead. They use the same word. Drink up and you'll see why this name translate to, translates to glow wine. <laughs> use these handy sachets to brew traditional mulled wine or a non-alcoholic punch. Oh, that's really interesting. I might want to try the non-alcoholic non punch. That sounds really cool. This box is awesome. So there's just some different uh, views of it. It's got cool artwork. It actually looks like a couple there enjoying themselves. Very nice. Oh, wait. Oh, is there English on this side of the box? I think there is. All right. Oh, it's just instructions. Basically, okay, yeah, we don't need to read those. Awesome. Including this, there are still three more items left. I, this is this box is blowing me away. Here is the product. It's in a pouch. I'm gonna stop asking for guesses and just read. <laughs> All right, shimmering bath pearls. Oh, sweet! Blackberry, raspberry, and vanilla aroma. Oh my gosh. I don't currently get baths because I have a small bathtub, but oh, I might need to use some type of foot bath or something because I love blackberries and raspberries. The smell, oh my goodness, oh wow. Uh, so these are little, little bath pearls. You can see them in there. Super cool idea. Let's see how they're unique to Germany, shall we? Stave off cold days and imagine you're looking at an alpine chalet. Enjoy a good long soak in the tub with these bath pearls that turn the water into a shimmery, fragrant pool. No way! Cool. Perfect for your... <laughs> Here's a very German word. A very wan moment. I know that's not right by my thumb. Anyway, it's, it's a pampering, feel-good moment. Use up to 20 minutes in 95 to 100 degrees Fahrenheit water and rinse, that's really hot, and rinse bath after use. Can you imagine? I want to see this shimmering. I wonder, I'm going to see, this is unlikely, but if I can get a clip, a video clip of that at the end, get some, oh gosh, really hot water, maybe I get into a cup or something and just see if it shimmers, because that sounds so neat. I would love to be able to share this with you guys and show it to you, how cool that is. What a cool product and a different spin to bath salts because you know we get tons of bath salts in boxes but this is just a nice spin to them all right you guys if this item along with the nutcracker doesn't scream german i don't know what does um quick side note i actually tried at one point to teach myself a little bit of german i can, I can count from about one to seven in german <laughs> um but I tried to use a, I found this German to English dictionary and tried to look at the letters, the vowels, the pronunciations, but would really need to do more of a course rather than just looking at a dictionary. Um, so it shakes. <laughs> We're going to take a look. Let's see. I like the packaging a lot on that. So, oh, they're incense cones. Good grief. Never would have guessed that. So cool. This tradition of burning incense cones as a 
Witch. Christmas tradition started a few centuries ago in the Ore Mountains in the tiny Krottendorf village. Today they come in a variety of fun and sometimes slightly odd scents. Hmm, that's interesting. Slightly odd scents, okay. Many Germans associate the Christmas scented ones, like the pack in this box, with happy childhood nostalgia. To use, point the tip down and light it, then place it on a fireproof surface. As always, keep away from children, pests, flammable objects, and tipsy Uncle Bob, who tends to gesture, gesture wildly while speaking. <laughs> Brilliant. Love it. Um, but there, that's obviously incense cones. I want to see what they smell like. Um, this is really cool. Oh, unfortunately, my dad probably wouldn't have that nostalgia unless, um, I wonder if his grandmother ever burned these. Makes me wonder now. Because his, his grandparents actually built the house that I grew up in, so that, uh, maybe she burned them in the house I grew up in for all I know, right? I mean, that's kind of cool to think about. Oh, these smell good. You guys know I've gotten a couple of incense burners recently in boxes. I might, I don't know if I can handle the smokiness with migraines, but I might, oh, I love the smell. I might just put them out in a little bowl or dish or something, a trinket bowl, some type of, mmm, passive diffusion. It, it kind of has a cedar wood type smell to it, but it, it's, it's more foresty than that. Oh, it smells nice and fresh. And this is probably the best smelling incense other than sandalwood that I've ever smelled. I really, really like these scents. This is, oh, I want to see, there's got to be a description, right? Oh, unfortunately, the English in here, there's 24 pieces, by the way, which is also a good deal, but um, the English on here doesn't describe the scent at all. I'm sorry, guys, I'm failing you. We need that smell of vision again. Oh, but I love them. Trust me, they smell good. Oh, okay, I'm being dumb. So we do know, a lot of us know, at least, a German word, Tannenbaum, which is Christmas tree. Oh, Tannenbaum, you know, Tannenbaum. So... I shouldn't. I should have figured this out when I saw tan and duft. It's a scent of fur, so I was right. I I I, I was think I was on the conifer side at least. So it does have a fur scent. That is awesome. Oh, I'm so glad I found that. It was it was hiding on the very top of the box where I opened it. Imagine that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have the final object in this box. This is a very famous item from what I've recently heard. It looks amazing and, of course, filled with gluten, <laughs> but I think I might indulge on this on Christmas Day and take a tiny little bite because I have to try it. I feel like I just need the cultural experience to try this food. It's a marzipan stolen. Stalin, I think, is how it's said. Oh, my gosh. Actually, it does have ingredients on here. If, oh, yes, it does have ingredients. Ingredients. Oh, that's exciting. But let's. I'm going to read about it first for you guys. It's a fruity marzipan loaf. Is it bread? Is it cake? It's a bit of both. In, in German, it's called a Weinachstollen. That's my best. Weinachstollen, that's my best try there. It's called Stollen or Stollen. Probably Stollen. Weinachstollen. I'm going with that. I'm going to put that into Google and get a pronunciation when this video is over. <laughs> Just for fun, right? Um, Stalin for short is a traditionally eaten during the Christmas season in Germany. There's even a Stalin festival in Dresden featuring a three ton loaf that three ton loaf, whoa, that is paraded around town before being cut and eaten. Oh yummy, best parade ever. Let's just say. Enjoy with a coffee or after dinner with a dark rum or amaretto and schnapps. Prost. I'm assuming that's, again, a German word. I want to look up a lot of these words. Ah, amaretto with it. Oh, my gosh. Um, I mean, I can, I believe three tons. This is actually really, really heavy. And I know, guys, I'm getting towards another long video, but this, this box just needs it. Look, you can see the fruit inside, and oh, my gosh. Let me know if you have one of these in the comments below. I would love to hear it because I will probably read the comments before I end up having this on Christmas Day. Um, so yeah, let me know if you've had one before. I'm really excited to try it. Oh, it says with 12% luxury marzipan filling and it has nutrition facts in English, like I said. So that's super cool. It's seven ounces. It's just, oh my gosh, I just want to take it and just bite into the end. Mmm, so much yum.
I think the ingredients are interesting here. Sadly, it does have gluten, so I will just have to take a tiny, tiny, tiny bite. At this point, I've broken my dairy with a tiny bite. Might as well take a tiny bite for gluten. Oh, it'll feel so nice to have real, real wheat again. Um, ingredients are raisins, wheat flour, palm fat, luxury marzipan filling, which has sugar, almonds, sorbitol, glucose, and fructose. There's more glucose, lots of sugar. Uh, candied orange and lemon peels. Wow, sugar. Can, <laughs> I keep seeing sugar, sugar, sugar. <laughs> Holy moly. Uh, canola oil, sorbitol, yeast, wheat starch. Okay, we, I just want to just see what kind of fruits were in here. So there's raisins and the marzipan, of course. So it's got like an almondy flavor. flavor. And I've never had marzipan, so sorry, guys. I'm keeping out geeking out over this even if i said that correctly i might not have said marzipan marizapan yeah i'm going with marzipan but that could be wrong and just to let you know this is a half there's two servings on this thing so it's it's, it's good for a sharing oh i'm so excited I, I just love that this is in here i really do uh yeah i'm just looking for the sugar content yeah 31 grams of sugar in just half of this thing I believe it, but wow. This is definitely one of those save for a special treat like Christmas Day. I know I've gone on a long time in this video, but I want to give you guys a really a feel for, for Germany. Let's just take a deep breath, pretend we're in the Christmas German market, and I want to give you more of an atmospheric vibe because this page talks about some of the different markets around Germany, and I think... If, if I were you, I would be interested in it. Let's put it that way. So, Germany really is a winter wonderland. The warm hospitality of its people, the gorgeous picturesque scenery, and rich cultural history of the region go hand in hand to create Gemaltlichke. <laughs> I just like pronouncing German words completely wrong, apparently. Gemaltlichke. A feeling of being cozy and peaceful while quietly enjoying companionship. It's almost like the Dutch word for um, Huga, except without the people part. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I digress. It's what brings people together at Christmas time and is the feeling behind many German winter traditions. Let's explore. So there's two pictures down here at the bottom of some different German places of interest. And let's look at the first Christmas market from Dresden to Anakin to Nuremberg. There are tons of markets that showcase German culture and traditions and each with their own unique specialties. So here's the first picture. It just looks so Christmassy and cozy, doesn't it? I'm, I'm really... Ooh, chocolate art. Yes, please. A five-day chocolate festival in Tobingen near Stuttgart. Stuttgart. Sorry, I'm really butchering these. German towns. Uh, it doesn't say much that I have German in my blood, does it? Um, where visitors can delight in the expertise of German chocolatiers, artists who work with chocolate, plus much more for the whole family. Chocolate art. Yes. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Sign me up for that one. Oh, and then here's New Year's Eve in Berlin. So that's festive and timely. A massive street festival in the Bohemian center of Germany, which with live music and dancing, a laser show and fireworks, of course. Did we mention about a million people attend? Um, unfortunately, maybe not this year. Of course, I have no clue what's going on in Germany this year. Guys, I, I'm in awe of this box. I really love it. Um, on the back, it's got some other ideas, some German things you can take in, some cultural type ideas. Practice your language skills with these German cozy flicks. Oh, so they're German movies. <laughs> Unfortunately, my German skills are nil, pretty much. Um, but that, this box was so much fun. I think my favorite items, I mean, unfortunately, if, if I could eat more um, dairy and gluten, it would definitely be, oh, I don't know, this might be a little too sugary for my taste. Um, but probably this, just because it's so cultural and so famous, and those chocolates, those were amazing. I love the smell of the incense. This is just the most unique idea ever. I love having this cute little nutcracker. I really love the bracelet, by the way, too, which was not in the description box, but it's gorgeous. And I would love to know the meaning behind the compass. 
and what that means to Germany, if anything. It might just be a compass bracelet, but I really love that. Uh, I think the fact that these make your bath sparkle is really cool. The fact they have a collectible, collectible postcard every month. I'm really in awe of this box, like I've said. So, if you guys are interested in the subscription, I do, rem do remind you that it ships from Canada. Uh, so, you basically, you can expect six to eight full-size authentic products from the featured destination. In this box, which was, again, was their inaugural very first box, we got eight products plus the bracelet. So, I would say nine products. because The bracelets are always a full-size product in my mind. Super cool. Um, so you can obviously there's a collectible postcard each time, and as of now they're only shipping to the United States or Canada, unfortunately. So it's in U.S. dollars, it's thirty nine dollars and thirteen cents a box. That doesn't include shipping, um, and then in Canadian dollars, it's forty nine ninety nine. So the next month, or rather, <laughs> the next month, I feel like it, but it is the next month because I got mine almost a month behind being in the United States, but um. Order by January 5th to get the next box, which is the theme Brazil. I, I'm really, really, really curious, guys. Brazil, I mean, come on. Uh, and if you order by the 5th, you can get it, and it would ship by Janu uh, January 10th to the 15th. Mm. Guys, let me know what you think about this box in the description, in the, sorry, comment section below. I'm, I really love it. I think it's amazing. Total, much, a lot of fun. I actually wish there was a l little less food items and a little more items like the nutcracker, the bracelet, the incense, just things that aren't edible. But it, it, when you look at it, there really is a good mix. Um, but I would like to see a little more cultural items. So that's just me. And maybe it's because of my dietary restrictions. I don't know. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm excited. Let me know what you guys think. If you like this video or like me, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't hit that subscribe button already, please do. You want to see all my future unboxings. I've got so much coming up. And you guys, you know, there is a New Year's giveaway going on right now. So make sure I have the link down in the description box for lo below. Go check out that video. Enter that, please. It's got an international, international friendly. So this is, it's worldly. Fits right in with this. Uh, and anyway, hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell all the way to the top so you see every notification from my channel. And until next time, guys, I'll catch you later. Bye.